and welcome to the 20th episode of Estate Email Teacher. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own brush effect for your personal use in your Adobe Photoshop. This can be performed in any version of Photoshop and it is very easy to perform as well. First of all I'm going to open up my internet browser, in my case is Mozilla Firefox and my search engine is Google. I'm going to go to images and I'm simply going to search a bike. I'm just going to use any good looking bike this one will do with a white background preferably a white background because if it if you found an image that you like and you don't want and you just want the main object of it and it has a background to it you are going to have to personally go around and cut the shape out which can be quite tricky at times depending on what shape it is so i'd say a white background as you can see that just blends in you can't really tell where the image is so I'm going to copy the image <coughs> and I'm simply going to paste it in on Photoshop and there you have it there's my image pasted in as you can see it's selected on layer 1 I'm simply going to go to edit and then define brush then it's going to show me my image and then what the size is and then what I want the name to be called. I'm just going to leave it as it's set default and click OK. I'm then going to remove the image that I originally started with and simply paste in the one that originally happened. If um, it's in colour, um, obviously you just, before I move on to the colour part, obviously you just saw this pop up. You, If uh, your brush tool isn't already selected, you will have to go to brushes scroll right down to the bottom of your list and find your um, your brush tool um, that you just created and obviously as you can see this has come up completely irrelevant to the colour that it is there that is because we've selected it here if I select red it's going to come up as red that can't be changed that's just the way the brush effect works now I'm going to show you the second way of how to create a brush second way of how to create a brush is via text. I'm going to select my text tool and I'm simply going to put in a hundred Mr. HTML teacher we'll put a space under that We'll leave it at that. And then I'll just select that and shorten that down to 72. Click OK. Put it up there. Select a new one. Shorten it down to 60. And just put dot .com. And click OK for that one and then move it just there as you can see that's split into two layers that doesn't matter because with how many layers there is it's still going to be a brush so if you've got a layer that you don't want to be a brush you're going to have to take it out and probably add it back in say if you've got 50 layers of text that is going to simply think that this is how big the brush is going to be um, so however many layers you've got that's going to be your brush so then simply go to edit as before define brush there's the size default text go to my brush tool select the text and there it is pasted in um, as I said previously it's not going to come out the colour you wanted it to say if I had this text multicolored it's not really going to work um, it was just going to simply have to stay at w whatever colour it was and that is how you create your very own brush effect in Adobe Photoshop CS4 as I said before it can be performed in any version of Photoshop CS4 is the one I use, CS3 or CS2, any of them um, this can be performed in, it's very easy to perform as you've just seen and I'll see you next time on the next tutorial, thank you